still dealing with some on and off rain showers. You see some of the heavier showers kind of uh, near Rustburg, just north of Seneca is passing to the east into Appomattox County. Still seeing some rain in the Hill City and also near Buchanan. A little bit of light rain also in Halifax and Pennsylvania counties. Keep in mind everything basically moving off toward the east. But you can see as you go farther to the west, at things are lighter in nature, they're also a little more scattered. So seeing a little bit of rain in Martinsville, maybe a little bit of drizzle near the Clearbrook community right on the Roanoke and Franklin County line, but everything again moving off toward the east, just leaving us with scattered light rain showers as we head through the night. But going to be cool as well as temperatures drop down into the 30s. We're going to spend most of the day tomorrow actually hanging out in the 30s. So if you're looking for sunshine, we're going to have to wait quite some time still. Future tracker around 8 p.m. showing that most of everything we see again light and scattered heading through the overnight. Things start to turn a little more widespread might start to see some rain filling in along and south of 460 heading into tomorrow morning. Then by the afternoon, notice how we slowly but gradually start to shift out of the rain a little bit. Some scattered showers near I-64 by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then by tomorrow night, we actually get a little bit of a break before more rain showers move in by early on Sunday morning. So as far as the main threats with this go, anytime you have water on the road, hydroplaning is a threat. So we're throwing that out there. But also we've seen two to three inches of rain in the past week. So mudslides still a potential, especially in the higher terrain. Any kind of flooding we see really going to be confined to low lying areas, streams and creeks. But don't count on it warming up tomorrow, all right? Temperatures going to be in the 30s much of the day. I think our high temperature actually closer to midnight where we get to anywhere between 40 and 45. And then talk about a whiplash. The winds really change direction. And by Sunday afternoon, you're looking at highs in the 60s from Roanoke to Lynchburg and Southside highs in the 50s in the NRV. But it comes with a price. The wind really going to be whipping late Sunday into early Monday. So peak gusts, OK, gusts, not sustained winds anywhere from 40 to 55 miles per hour west of the parkway and 25 to 40 miles per hour east. So with a wet ground that could leave us with a few down trees, even some power outages, even though the weather is actually going to look nicer by Sunday. The wind could leave us with some trouble. Also make sure that you secure any kind of empty or lightweight trash cans, basketball hoops, things like that before we get into Sunday afternoon. But check it out. 66 the high in Roanoke Sunday afternoon. We're back into the 50s Monday breezy. Still a mix of clouds and sunshine takes us through the rest of the week. Next best chance for rain coming in by Friday and next weekend.